Welcome to this video. Reminding consensus resumed. Consensus supports empty DNA L and African mitochondrial Eve as the origin of all humans. We need to remember that when we speak about empty DNA L and African mitochondrial Eve as the origin that we only are referring to empty DNA. In order to claim an origin we need to prove empty DNA and Y DNA. Intermezzo. For me empty DNA L and African mitochondrial Eve are the same thing. Eve and even mitochondrial Eve is easier to memorize for uh, the general public than empty DNA L is. In fact one should pronounce it in full and that is mitochondrial haplogroup L. I sometimes use the name African Eve. Certain scientists decided to use the more descriptive name mitochondrial Eve. And in cases these scientists were heavily criticized because of doing so. In most of the cases consensus seems to prefer the use of jargon which is understandable but inconvenient for not specialists or not scientists. I mostly use, use and use descriptive names but will also men mention the jargon in strategic places or occasions in the text of a video or ebook. This for completeness and for the viewer not to lose the connection with the scientific jargon and scientific publications. End of intermezzo. Presented is the Y-DNA mosaic or mosaic or the mosaic I use most. I use Y-DNA more than I use empty DNA and this is Y-DNA. Getting on with the video. And in cases consensus also supports Y-DNA a as the origin of all humans. As I said, an origin has an empty DNA and a Y DNA. As said before, this is the same thing. To claim the origin you need empty DNA and Y DNA. We also should remember that in fact instead of consensus presenting Y-DNA to claim the origin, it presents rather specific or often even scientific controversial cases like A0 and A00 and sometimes speaks about Adam. This while none of them, not a0, not A00 and not Adam dominates any significant area in the world at all and not even in Africa. Further, never was a ver verified fossil found of one of these groups. The groups that I told about here in this chapter and that are claimed to be the origin by consensus. Resuming, no verified fossil of them was ever found. 
not in Africa and not outside of Africa. Schematic and hypothetical maps and groups. Consensus often uses schematic and hypothetical maps and also uses theoretical or hypothesized composed groups like CT. Here you see say, CT is being used. This Y is just to explain that this R that I just talked about is in fact Y DNA because this is a Y DNA a hypothetical map of Africa. I suppose that for consensus the group C, third letter in the alphabet, not being present in Africa nor the Middle East and being most frequent in Asia and even quite frequent in the Americas is quite inconvenient or even a serious paradigm for consensus. However, for the same reason, consensus cannot simply put C right after B, as one would expect. And the figure right now out of the DNA mosaic, this one, demonstrates this. DE comes between B and C, B and C. When the letters suggest C comes right after B. C should become should come C should come right after B. And it's not the case. And this is what is presented on the bottom of this map. It's presented here. For consensus the composed group C T is very convenient to bring C closer to Africa, closer to AB and closer to B and A. This for any viewer to see the start or ABC of the alphabetical buildup of the populating of the planet, the way any viewer would expect it. But there are still some more packet paradigms left because there is no C in Africa and there is not even dominance of A and even less of B so this in Africa but also anywhere in the world. Where there is a really a certain dominance, like in the case of A and B, this described this desired dominance only is in places humans and certainly cultures cannot thrive nor expand. While the humans of these present groups in these mentioned places are kind of pygmy, pygmy people with, not unexpectedly, rather black skins. Something that would, mm, that would make it more complex to evolve or being hybridized, hybridized into all Eurasi Eurasians. Most of them tall and with not neutral but rather white skin and at the end all amaranths that are tall and ha present rather neutral skin as we know them today and from ancient DNA. In comparison one it would make it less complex to evolve, to evolve or being hybridized into all Eurasians and at the end into all Am 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 Amarins as we know them if the origin 
of all humans was the Amazon amaranth as the fundamentals prove it and I GM Johannes Malans claim it in comparison to A and B today are in the places where the early Africans A and B long ago did or had to be drawn into this in order to be able to survive somewhere or maybe anywhere those, those that did not redraw to these unfavorable places in time most probably were somehow soon destroyed and their groups, cultures or whatever of them simply did and does not exist anymore one can find evidence of all this that I claim also in the ethnic groups of Gabon as some of the too few that provenly present empty DNA L and then in this case L1C and uh, also uh, mitochondrial ETH DNA so this is Gabon <coughs> this is Cameroon this is Gabon I think this small is Equatorial Guinea so but this frequency that is above 50 but not higher than 75 is only present in an area the size of Gabon while Africa of course is a big uh, continent this is quite different of course from what the general public somehow thinks that the Africans or Homo sapiens that present Y-DNA A and B and on the empty DNA state present L went or migrated out of Africa and populated the world while in fact others like E I think Bantu is an example of E came in to Africa and populated Africa and in fact overturned the earlier Africans and ethnic groups typical for A and B and for Africa because these are the old and oldest African haplogroups in my opinion the general public still thinks so because they see the arrows showing this migration out of Africa in certain often older presentations this is one you see that L starts somewhere here between L0 and L1 and this is um, well, probably a, few, a, a matter of cases so between L0 and L1 and you find this line and arrow out of Africa and into the world so why we just saw that AB on the Y-DNA site and L on the empty DNA site had to be drawn and were kind of exterminated by groups that come from outside Africa that is presented in other video as said as an example L1C is one of the 
few uh, empty DNA groups L empty DNA only covers Gabon and that between 50 and not higher than 75 percent what you can see in this presented image above is that that what presents a frequency of above 50 percent does not cover a quarter of an area the size of Egypt so 50 percent frequency L1C only covers carbon just a bit more A frequency of 75% is nowhere reached on the main African map. This is the main African map. This is the case of L1C in there as other sub haplogroups together with L1C. This is the haplogroup y, uh, A, Y DNA haplogroup A and you see its presence above let's say 50% is very limited as well very limited this, this doesn't even come close to 10% of Africa not sure if you can read it this is 26 percent only this small area something like the size of Gabon a quarter of Egypt and this is 64 percent it's it comes close to the size of Egypt apart from this L1C here there's other groups, it's very difficult to find these haplogroups, I don't know why. So the other sub haplogroups of L, of mitochondrial Eve, or do not coincide, uh, coincide with A or B, which should be, because that's the African DNA and if they do the same remarks as in the case of L1C can be made it is about rather inhabitable and regions of Africa with very low population density because they are rather inhabitable In the case of L1C, the L1C covered area is forested and rather inaccessible, presenting forest, mountains, crystal mounds and savanna in the east. Gabon, the one that I showed you, has 89, that is close to 90% of its land area forested. Part of this forest is also mountainous observation that can be very uh, there can be L coverage other than L1C but I find it hard to find uh, I said so I am so free to suppose that it or they must be less significant than L1C that only covers carbon well above 50 percent. In the case of L0AF the area covered by it is extreme arid and rather inhabitable
all further areas that present empty DNA L also are rather inhabitable for one or another reason, reason or very arid or extremely forested or mountainous and present low or very low population densities these are the aridity zones of Africa and I marked them and they coincide with haplogroup A which is Homo sapiens Thank you for watching. Bye.